All right, so I needed to figure out if that glitch could cause problems or not. Um, it didn't look right to me, but sometimes glitches are happen in places where you don't care. Uh, it turns out this glitch does happen in a place that I do care about, so let me explain that. So the uh, two-phase clock generation that I do uh, sets up two pulses, a from pulse and a, and a to pulse, and these are, these are low true, so it's not and two. So what are these? Well, these are part of a, a micro microcode machine. And the microcode machine is like a regular micro, uh, like a regular um, CPU instruction. Um, and you need to do two things. You need to first say, where is something coming from? And then put it to where it's supposed to go. So you need to enable the from location, okay? The from location gets enabled when this this low, so you've 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 put the from device on the bus when you when you go low, so the from device is now on the bus, and then you and then you talk to the two device and you say, okay, clock in the data. That's that low pulse. So you assert the from, and then you clock the two. Well, what's happening is that there is a um, pulse that's happening right here, so. Basically, it's an extra two pulse. So you're you're giving a write instruction uh, to to things, and 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 that shouldn't be there. So I need to get rid of that glitch. So it's it, it's writing when it's not supposed to be writing. Um, if the glitch happened on the from pulse, I wouldn't I wouldn't care. But uh, the location of where it's happening on the two pulse, I do care about. So I need to get rid of that. Uh, I need to get rid of that pulse. It, it's also happening when the clock. So the way that the way that that works. So let, let me kind of help me describe it. Um, there is an eight-bit instruction, okay? And there's so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, it's an eight-bit word, okay? And four of the bits are the from address and four of the bits are the two address, okay? So the microcode has this in there. It says, what is the from device and what is the to device? And then these microcode instructions are in ROM, okay? And so you're gonna step to one and then execute it, step to another one, execute it, step to the other one, execute it. So the step process, the step to the next one, okay? That happens on the leading edges of the clock pulse. So every time there's a clock pulse, you step to the next instruction. Then what you want to do is you want to take this from location and put it on the, uh, assert that device, so that's this negative going thing, and then you want to give a clock, which is the two pulse. Um, so I need to go back to my win couple program, take a look at how I've defined these things, and try to get rid of that pulse there. All right, I found the uh, I found the win couple program that I used to generate this two-phase clock, and uh, it, it's standard stuff I've showed before. You you do a counter, and then you do logic against the the bits of your counter. So I, I have a three-bit counter, and it's generating those codes, and then I do. Uh, a Carnot map or, or, or logic equations and stuff to generate the timing that I want. And here are the equations for the timing that I want and everything. And um, I didn't need all three bits. I only needed uh, zero through six. And in order to speed things up, I skipped seven and eight. So what I did was I added this uh, a little bit of code down here that said, so the counter is happening on D-type flip-flops and then uh, you do a reset when uh, Q1 and Q2 are both high, and that resets it on a count of six. And that's the way you get it to count to six, and then starts over at zero again. And so if you take a look at the, uh, I, I hooked up those D0, uh, Q, Q0, Q1, and Q2, so you can see that it, uh, that's the zero, and then it gets divided by two, and then this one gets divided by four, except that the reset happens after six. So, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then, and then, it, and it, but look at right there, look at right there. That's where the glitch is happening on that reset. So when I do that reset, um, the states aren't exactly valid. So that reset is screwing me up. 
So what I'm going to do to fix the problem is come down here. Hello, focus, focus. There it goes. I'm going to get rid of this line and I'm going to let it count to, to, to eight and uh, just waste a couple counts. Um, but I'll get rid of that glitch and it'll just, it'll should fix it up. So let me, uh, let me do that. And I'll, I'll go back and look at, make sure, uh, make sure my, uh, equations will work, uh, with values of, 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 uh, uh, of seven and eight. So, or, you know, yeah, well, take a look. All right. So I changed the code in the, uh, wind couple. And now I have the pulses that I want. Um, I have the clock pulse, which is this rising edge. It just so happens it's the, it, I can just use it for the from as well. So I get a negative going from, and then right in the negative going from, I get a, I get a two pulse. So, so assert the, the from device and then clock the two device. And then look, no glitches anywhere. No glitches, no glitches, they're all gone. So yeah, so this, <laughs> this might work a whole lot better. All right, it's working. So you can see there's lots of activity over there. Uh, let's show you the board here. The board is, uh, is running a program. Uh, the program is uh, stored in a ROM here. And this is the program counter, so you can watch the program counter run. The program counter then uh, uh, is displayed here. The address counter is displayed here. And the bus is displayed down here, so you can watch the bus flicker. So, and uh, this is an I.O. device, so we're going to be writing to this I.O. device. And so we're starting at zero. You can watch the program counter count up, and then it goes to zero, so it starts over. It hits a jump instruction. Um, so it's also going through RAM to get all this data. And uh, down here, you can watch there's a couple different values. Those are the actual program instructions themselves. Uh, there's a one instruction that says write to uh, I.O. device and one instruction that says um, jump. And I think there's a no op in there and stuff. Anyway, so it's cycling a program. It counts from zero to nine and then waits and then counts from, uh, I guess it goes from one to nine. Now there's a zero in there. Um, and so I have it set up here. Uh, to display all sorts of things. Uh, we can we can zoom in and we can watch things. Let's just do a single shot here. So we have the two phase clock going on uh, on uh, the PC increment. That's when the uh, program counter gets incremented and then we read the value of the program counter and we write that oops, let me touch on here and we write that into the RAM address. So the program counter gets shoved into the RAM address, and then we uh, do a RAM read, and we do an instruction. We take that, that value, and we stick it into the uh, state machine, and operate on it with microcode. Um, so yeah, this thing's, uh, this thing's up and running again. And then all these bits down here are the, uh, are the uh, eight data lines, uh, zero, through, uh, zero through seven down here. So you can kind of watch them going around. And we can uh, zoom way out. And let's see here. I think we can kind of get an idea what's going on here. Yeah, let's do a single shot. All right, we can watch the uh, the address line. So uh, you can see it count uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this thing is in the be room nice. You can label everything so you, you don't get confused and stuff. And, uh, yeah, my machines, my machines working. Um, if you haven't seen this video series and you're interested in pre microprocessor computers, so like a, um, oh geez, PDP eight, um, they are microcomputers. They weren't, they were mini computers. I'm sorry, they were mini computers. They weren't microcomputers. So mini computers, all of the CPU was designed in, uh, in TTL logic. And I always wanted to build one of those. And so this is a, a TTL version uh, CPU. 
and uh, CPU cont contains certain things. It contains a program counter, it contains an address counter, it contains uh, an uh, at, uh, in instruction decoding, it, inst in it uh, has I.O. and stuff, and so uh, it has a clock circuit. So this is, this is a, a microprocessor. So if you want to learn how microprocessors work, this is a project that you want to do. Um, most schools these days, if you go to get a double E degree, they're going to want you to do this all in a, um, a PLD, uh, a, you know, a gate array. And while that's an interesting exercise, uh, I wanted to get my hands dirty and, and really and really build one here. Um, uh, th I have a RAM chip here. I have a ROM chip here. Uh, like I said, this is a, a, a ROM chip that's acting as a instruction decoder. Um, it is a complete 8-bit machine. It has uh, four bits of two addresses and four bits of uh, from addresses. Uh, so it all takes 8 bit, eight -bit instructions. Um, and we have it all operating with this program right here. Uh, this is one of my simple programs. I have a, uh, an ALU that I designed. This is a, uh, a TTL version ALU that will do add, subtract, multiply, divide, that kind of stuff. Or, Actually, it's not add, subtract, multiply, but it's, it, well, maybe it does multiplication, I think. Yeah, add, add subtract, multiply, and then um, X, or, or, and, not, that kind of stuff. That, that's in this. And this is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, and this is uh, uh, two registers, and then uh, uh, the ALU here. Uh, so that, that, that's fancier. So anyway, if you'd like to learn all about, about this, it's kind of a step above what Ben Eater did. Um, I have a playlist, so go to my playlists and take a look at CC, I mean TTL CPU. So this is my TTL CPU, and there's quite a few videos of me building this thing. I designed all of these boards, I laid them all out, it's, it's my complete design, I didn't steal from anybody, it's all original, I in, invented my own uh, machine instructions, I invented my own micro uh, code. This is all from scratch, okay? So it was a labor of love, definitely. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's working good.